Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Coming to you live tonight with another one sheet wonder technique. Tonight we are going to use a six by six piece of the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper and we're going to create four cards out of that one six by six sheet of Designer Series paper. So let me make sure we're good to go and we will get started. This, yeah, it looks good. The Dandy Garden Designer Series paper is from the new January through June 2021 mini catalog and it has a suite of products that you can get that all coordinate. So I'm going to show you that out of the catalog here a minute. I'm going to switch the camera. Alright, so it is on page 24 it begins and it's called the Dandy Garden Suite. And with this suite you can get all these gorgeous products. Now you can get the whole entire collection, that's all that you see here, in one coat or I should say number 155981 145.50 and don't forget it is celebration so if you kick that up to 150 you would get three free celebrations with this bundle so it's awesome time to order the whole bundle and you are going to love it so the bundle is the garden wishes the dragonfly garden bundle it's got the dandy laser cut paper the Dandy Garden Memories and More Paper Pack, the Dandy Garden Memories and More Envelopes, the Ladybug Trinkets, the Mossy Meadow 316 Braided Trim, and then the Dandy Garden 6x6 Designer Series Paper. And that's what we're going to use tonight to create our One Sheet Wonder Technique. And we're also going to use the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. Now I showed you all those products if you purchase any of those products or the entire collection, I will email you the PDF file for tonight's projects. And you can go to my blog, www.thestampcamp.com to place your order. So like I said, we're going to be using the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and it has the coordinating Dragonfly Punch. So it is sold in the bundle. These are the four gorgeous cards that we're going to create with our one sheet of 6x6 Designer Series paper. Alright, so this is the Dandy Garden 6x6 Designer Series paper. There's tons of prints in the pack and they're double sided. So this is the print that I used for all four cards. We're going to use this side on two of the cards and this side on two of the cards. So it just to show you how you can use the front side, the back side, and use one sheet to get four cards. Now this it print is in the pack and this print works beautifully with the punch. You may need to, well that fits pretty darn good. So you're going to get your big butter or dragonfly, I shouldn't say butterfly, dragonfly, and then you have the little one, which if you, you can use either side. This one didn't match up quite, so I would use this side. But just keep in mind that there's four of this print in the pack, so you have lots of dragonflies that you can punch out. And then any extra little space, you don't want that to go to waste, just come in and just do your little teeny dragonfly. So just a little tip on that. I did use some of those and I did stamp some. So you have your choice. Let's get started on cutting up this designer series paper. Hi Jean, glad you could join me. Okay, so we're gonna start cutting this. Make sure I get this cut right. I wanna do it the same as my card so they don't goof up. So we're going to start this six by six at cutting it at two and then at three 
in this one inch you're going to cut at three and then this you're going to cut at let me make sure I get this right one and a half This is this three inch strip, so you're going to cut at one and a half. One and a half. And one and a half. Then you're going to take this little strip and you're going to cut that at one and a half. So you have two little squares that are one and a half by one and a half. So that's all your cutting that you're going to do with that six by six. And we're going to get four cards. So I'm going to just take this one and I want to cut it down to five and a quarter. And then don't throw this away because what you're going to do with this little piece is you're going to get two of those dragonflies out of this little tiny piece because we're going to use them on another card. So there is literally hardly, this is your waste from that 6x6, six six. not a lot. All right, so we're going to save those. Those are for our last card. So the first card we're going to come in, our card base is Mossy Metal. Now I got my color combination from my print. Now there is lots of gorgeous, where does my pack go? Oh, lots of gorgeous colors in this pack. If you look on the back side, it's got basic black, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Metal, and Whisper White. So that's where you're going to get your color combination for those papers. So we're going to fold that in half. Got a piece of white for the inside. Now you can go ahead and take one of the dragonflies from your Dragonfly Garden stamp set. I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight ink that puppy up there and we're going to stamp it just right there at the bottom then you're going to see there's little funky kind of stamp in the set and that's to do your wings and you're probably thinking well it's only going in one direction yes it is and it will work going in the other direction it's just going to stamp off a little bit it's not going to be right in the lines so if you don't like that, then you'll probably want to punch the paper, but I find it nice. I like it. If you punch it out, you really don't notice that it's not in the lines. But that's one of those stamps that doesn't match up perfectly, and that's okay. I know some people have a hard time with that, but that's what it is. So we're going to take our paper that we cut. And we're going to attach it to a piece of bumblebee. And I'm just going to have a little bit shown here on the edge of my bumblebee. I want to line that up. Just like that. Go ahead and attach that now to our card front. I love doing one sheet wonders because you can create a stack in no time. The next thing I did was took a piece of whisper, what not whisper white, basic white, and stamped my thank you for your kindness and punched it out. Where's my punch? With the Taylor Tag Punch. I stamped it with the Misty Moonlight. Then, I'm going to just show you. If you stamp another one, And you take your trimmer, line that up in the trimmer so that it's down the center, 
as best you can. Okay, you have two pieces. I'm going to cut one out of white so you can see what I'm talking about. And I did this with three of the cards. One card doesn't have a sentiment on it. So stamp it with the Miss Moonlight. Come in, punch it out. Take your adhesive, and on the back side, you're going to just kind of follow those, the edge. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put the halves back together, but you're going to space them out so that you have a little bit of that blue showing top and bottom so it's like a mat, just like that. Cool? All right, so I've already went ahead and did all that and put dimensionals on the back. So we're going to attach that there. Put some adhesive on there. And then just take your dragonfly either that you stamped. I've got some that are stamped and I've got some from the paper that are punched. This one was one I stamped. This is from the paper. So they look very similar. I'll pop that up. Kind of put that right there. And there's card number one. Cool, cool. Love it. Card number two is Mousy Metal again for our card base. We have our white for the inside again. I'm going to just come in with our dragonfly. You can change positions if you want. Come in with the wings. You could put that on the outside of your envelope so it coordinates with your card. Choice is yours. I'm going to put that on the inside. Now for our pieces. So we have this one, we're going to use these two little squares. And we got, we're going to bring in some Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to use the yellow side. So we're going to bring these in and we're going to put them all the way to the edge. Just like that. Centering it so that we have a little bit of that blackberry bliss showing on each side. But this is an illusion because it looks, when your card is done, it looks like you came across the whole side of the card with the designer series paper but you did not so we're going to attach that now to our card front so it's like an optical illusion then I took a piece of whisper basic white and I stamped the flower image using the Misty Moonlight ink and then colored in with some coordinating blends. So we're going to take that. We're going to put that on our Blackberry Bliss here. We're going to take some dimensionals. Take off the little backings and we're going to center that in the front here. That looks good, just like that. We're going to take a couple of those dragonflies that we punched out of our paper. This one right here where they match. This is this side for the little ones. I'm going to just take some glue dots.
with my little. And we'll put one here. And we'll put one down here. And there you have card number two. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, card number three. This time we're doing Misty Moonlight for our card base. Fold that in half. Inside, we'll do this corner again. Do our little wings. Attach it to the inside. If I don't flick up like that, it doesn't wheel. There we go. We have a piece of bumblebee, and that's going to go right down the center on the front. Let's see. Kind of use my grid here. Just like that. Now we're going to take those three strips. I want to make sure that I put them back in order. Just like that. So this one's going to go across the top. And then I'm going to take the bottom one. So situate your bottom ones first and then come in with your center and then you can kind of gauge the width there. Then we're going to come in with another one of our sentiments with our tailored tag punch. So the only thing that really is a part of the suite is that tailored tag punch. Come in with one of our dragonflies we punched out of the paper. Put him up here just like that. So there you go, card number three. Super cute. And now we'll come in for the last card. Again, it's the Misty Moonlight. So you did two cards out of the Misty Moonlight, two cards out of the Mossy Meadow. Stamp our dragonfly. Attach the inside. Now we have a piece of basic white. This time we're going to use this side of our print and we're going to do a little bit of an, opti an illusion again just like we did before. And attach these to the front, center them like so. These strips go top and bottom. Just like that. Then we have another piece of white that's going to come across there. So it looks like that was a full sheet, but it wasn't. And then I have this little, I think these are supposed to be like little butterflies. I'm going to just put them in the corner here and the corner down here. And this can all get attached.
I'm going to put a little bit of that white showing top and bottom on that strip and then the strip can be attached to the cart front. You just want to make sure that you cover up both yellow pieces there. Keep it straight. That looks good. Now this time I have a yellow backing on my tailored tag punch stamped image. And we're going to just center that right on there, just like that. We're going to grab another one of our dragonflies that we punched from our designer series paper. And we're going to stick that down here. And then we have those two little dragonflies that we punched out of that little itty bitty piece that was left over when we cut our designer series paper. This is it. This is the last. Let's see, you can have it going any direction. There you go. Isn't that cute? So there's your four cards out of one six by six sheet of the garden. What is it? Dandy Garden? Dandy Garden Designer Series Paper. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love the one sheet wonders. I was doing them on Thursday nights in December and then we went broke for the Christmas New Year's holiday so now we're going to start up again. One Sheet Wonders are Thursday nights so make sure you note that on your calendar 730 the stamp camp and if there's anything you would like to see with One Sheet Wonders let me know. Um, again if you would like the PDF file for tonight's projects if you order any of the suite of products. What did I say? Page 24. So if you order any of these product suite or the whole suite, you will get the PDF file emailed to you. Make, and keep in mind that it is celebration, so with every 50 before shipping and tax, you will get something free from the celebration brochure. So love that. Love the One Sheet Wonders. If you are new to my Facebook page or YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and on YouTube turn on that little bell in the upper right hand corner so you always know when I go live. If you liked your projects that you've seen tonight, make sure that you like, share, and comment. Any questions? Thank you, thank you for watching and tuning in. I appreciate that so much. Again, if you need any of the supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. This is the host code for January. I appreciate any and all orders. That is it for tonight. Thanks for stopping by.